Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, picture perfect finish to the uh, work week. Sunshine, warming temperatures up to roughly between 70 and 75 degrees. Obviously, still beautiful out there right now. We check out live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and uh, it's tracking birds, insects, <laughs> no precipitation. It's just. It's gorgeous, the air is dry, and, and we don't see anything locally popping up, nor do we expect anything, so staying dry for this evening and through the overnight hours with plenty of sunshine. I mean, temperatures could be a little warmer than this. I mean, it is mid-June, but it is pleasant in the upper 60s to low 70s right now. But the air is very dry, and dry air at night cools off fairly rapidly. So if you're out later tonight, you may need a light jacket as it will turn cooler. You can see the temperature at 73, but the humidity levels are low and refreshing at 46%. Northeast breeze at 16. In fact, this should be the general wind direction now right through uh, the entire weekend. Now, a northeast wind is coming in, obviously, in this direction. The water out here is cool, so I do expect the coolest temperatures this weekend to be across eastern Massachusetts, from Boston down through the Cape, Taunton, perhaps even into New Bedford as well. It's one of those situations where the further west you go this weekend, the warmer the air will be. But outside right now, upper 60s to lower 70s, and I mean, look at all this real estate where it's crystal clear. And the reason why, we call it Canadian high pressure. It's building down from where else but Canada. And usually that keeps temperatures mild rather than very warm. To get warm conditions, you need more of what we call a Bermuda high. And we may see a Bermuda high by the middle of next week, which would mean much warmer air. Temperatures outside right now across most of New England and here in southern New England in the 70s. As we check out your future cast, starting off this evening with clear skies, and that'll continue all night long, right on through uh, midnight and beyond. Here we are tomorrow morning. We'll stop the clock at around 8 with some sunshine that'll continue into the afternoon hours. I mean, a few fair weather clouds uh, tomorrow evening, still holding on to clear weather. However, late, late tomorrow night into early Sunday morning, some low clouds will come in off the ocean, but they'll burn off later Sunday morning. Temperatures overnight will be cool uh, in the low to mid 50s. Uh, low 60s tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Should get up into at least the mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. So comfortable day and then back down into the six, uh, 50s and 60s by uh, tomorrow night. For this evening, looking good. Midnight at 59. Overnight tonight, late at night towards daybreak. I mean, we'll call it cool. I mean, this is mid-June. Daytime high, or uh, nighttime lows rather, in the mid-50s. Beautiful start to the day tomorrow, 7 a.m. 58, 11 a.m. 70, and we're heading up into the mid-70s with sunshine and just a few uh, decorative fair weather clouds. Beach is not bad. Air temperature at 70, water temperature cool, 63, safe sun time at 15 minutes. Good visibility on the bay on a northeast breeze at around 10 to 15 knots. All right, seven-day outlook. Uh, showing a slightly cooler weather for Father's Day Sunday. We may start with clouds early in the morning, but it will brighten up to partly sunny conditions, so not bad. Monday looking okay, and Mike, the heat is building. Tuesday we're at 80. When was the last time we saw a 90 on the seven day? But Wednesday and Thursday of next week at around 90 with hazy sunshine, hot and humid as we see a significant weather pattern change down the road. Bottom line, weekend is looking good. WPRI.com to get all the details. We said the air show, the CVS Charity Classic, all kinds of activities going on, and it should be comfortable. And the kids are out of school. They for are. The most part. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Still ahead, and I would.